Hello people this is self tuts and we are continuing our series on docker for beginners and in this video we will learn what is docker container so you must have already heard about this terminology docker containers in our previous videos we have seen like what is docker images so the next thing to jump on is docker container because this is the building block of your docker understanding so let's see what is docker container so docker container is an instance of your docker image so we have already said that docker image is a blueprint and if you understand in the terms of object oriented programming you can say that docker container is an instance so docker image can be considered as a blueprint or a class and docker container is an object or instance of that image so we already know that a docker image basically describes everything that is present inside a docker a container so it basically contains all the operating system thing the dependent libraries the application so it forms the blueprint but when you create a object out of it object of that contain object of that image then that particular thing is called as container so we can say the docker image can be considered as a blueprint or a class and docker container is an object or instance of that image let's understand this more clearly so let's say this is a docker image and which was hosted on the docker registry and then we downloaded it to our local machine using the docker pull command and finally we can create n number of containers out of it so there will be one docker image on your local machine and then you can create multiple docker containers out of it so one container is called let's say container x one is container y and another is container z Uh, let's say you have a mysql image and you have already downloaded in all, on your local machine and then you want to run three instances of that mysql so you want to run one of the mysql on let's say port 1000 the another one on port 2000 and the third one on on the port 3000 so you need three different uh, mysql instances on your local machine it's up to your requirement like i am just saying that this is a uh superficial requirement of having three my mysql uh databases on your local machine so you can download one image and out of that you can create three containers of mysql so the container x can be will run on port 1000 container y on port 2000 and container z on 3000 so there is only one image and you can create multiple instances of it and those instances are called the containers so each container contains what each container contains the operating system since when we create a docker image we already provide that okay this image contains either ubuntu or windows or inside the ubuntu it can have multiple flavors so uh, inside the linux we can have multiple flavors so those operating systems can be present here and then operating system libraries let's say curl or let's say ssl libraries anything the third thing is the application dependencies and the fourth thing is the application source code so here in container x basically when we distribute mysql we distribute it as binaries so the application source code can be considered as the binaries application dependencies can be some of the dependencies which is needed by mysql to run on ubuntu machines these are the four things which this container x will present okay so this is what a docker container is so again i am repeating docker image can be considered as a blueprint and docker container is an object or instance of that image so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe hope you like this video please share these videos with other people and subscribe to my channel thank you